Hi, I'm making this video to explain how I added a propane quick connect to our Coachman Apex Ultralight 215 RBK camper. Questions come up on Facebook groups asking, you know, what I did to help fit out, and uh, let's give it a shot. All right, so it's a little rainy today. Um, we just came back from a, a month-long trip, nearly just about a week ago. So it's still rather filthy, it's muddy. But uh, on our model, we have an outside kitchen. Uh, behind there is a little pull-out grill, and we also keep our uh, blackstone in there, a mini blackstone. But we always have to use the you know the standard one-pound green propane cans, which is not ideal. Especially with a griddle, it tends to go fast. So I added this propane quick connect. A lot of models will come with them somewhere in this region, somewhere, you know, somewhere in there. Uh, ours didn't have one, so I went went to add one. The parts cost, I think, around fifty dollars all in, including uh, the extension hose to the uh, Blackstone. I think it's right, fifty-five. Wow, well, that was all added up. It was probably around forty-five before that. So our model. Nick Mini has uh, two propane bottles up front, and then the hose runs from there back to a splitter under the frame. Um, I'll jump to that next. We're under the trailer. This is the propane supply line from the tanks and regulator. Here we have the splitter. Uh, Incoming, outgoing to the factory installed devices, the oven, the uh, water heater, and so on. Um, this is the fresh hose that we've installed. Uh, this is a 3 8 inch connector. Uh, for our installation with a Coachman Apex 215 RBK, I needed an 8 foot hose. It runs along with the hose going to the back, and we'll jump back there and show you further. And now we're back behind the axles. Our new supply line coming up to the propane quick connect with the du the dust protector, which, as you can see, has a served its purpose. Uh, so we have a three eighth inch hose coming back. We have a three eighth to quarter inch reducer, and this is a quarter inch propane uh, quick connect. This one has a shut off valve, which is very handy. Uh, this is a, I believe, three-quarter inch uh, hose clamp, wire clamp, whatnot. Uh, get the stainless steel one with the rubber insulators. Uh, they're a little bit harder to find. Uh, usually you'll see a whole rack of them of the plastic ones. Those will last, I don't know, five minutes. Do yourself a favor, get the metal one. Uh, I'm actually using like a roofing uh, siding uh, self-tapper on this. You can use a bolts and nuts or whatever you want, whatever you feel like. And, and here we are right at the outside kitchen. All right, I hope that's been helpful. It really was an easy project. I think it took me five minutes to install. I needed to use a wrench to remove the original cap. Uh, a wrench to install the new hose um, back here and a couple wrenches to install the adapters uh, I believe you'll need thread sealants up at the uh, regulator or the splitter um, These fittings I believe were all flare fittings. So just crank them down and they do not need sealants I did for a uh, good measure go online get a propane leak detector and uh, no findings there um, I did check the tank, however, I was smelling propane up there, and I had a bad seal uh, on the uh, pro on the tank to regulator fittings. So I replaced that, and we're all good. Oh, just remember, of course, it's silly, but make sure you do it. Uh, turn off the uh, um, valves of your tanks before you start this, otherwise you'll have a rather uh, smelly leak. All right, there you are. Uh, like I said, five minutes, 50 bucks or so, and you don't have to worry about those uh, green cans anymore.